So we can use exactly the same technique as we did in the previous video to find a better uh, formula for the area of a sector. Because if I was working out the area of a sector um, in degrees, then I would use a similar method. I'd say, well, I want this angle in degrees as a fraction of the whole, so of the 360, and that is the fraction of the area of the whole circle that I want. So I want the area of a circle to be there, pi r squared. And that would be the formula in degrees. In radians, what I can do is use the same technique as before, replace the 360 with 2 pi. So I now have theta over 2 pi times pi r squared. And we can see that we're dividing by pi and timesing by pi, so they cancel each other out. And I'm left with 1 half, that dividing by 2 is 1 half, theta r squared. And that is the area of a sector in radians, OK? And is a lot quicker to work with. So the arc length and area formulas are not given to you, and you must memorise them. And we're going to see an example of how they work in the next video.